CNN is now confirming that actor Burt Reynolds has died at the age of 82. Here's a look back at his life. Burt Reynolds was one of the top box office draws in the 70s and 80s, but the big screen was not where he set out to be. No, the handsome, charismatic Michigan-born actor wanted to be a football star. Reynolds attended Florida State University on a football scholarship, but an injury derailed his athletic career and put him on the path to Hollywood stardom. At first, Reynolds landed roles on television, including shows like Gunsmoke and Flipper. But it was the 1972 film Deliverance that was his breakthrough role. Who has the ability to survive. He also became a sex symbol and posed nude in Cosmopolitan magazine. He capitalized on his success in the 1974 sports drama The Longest Yard. Oh I, I'm going to fix it, okay? Ah, ah. By 1977, the actor who was known for his signature mustache was riding high with the success of Smokey and the Bandit alongside Sally Field. What's your handle, son? The film became a successful franchise for Reynolds. So did the movie Cannonball Run in 1981. Well, can't you do something? I mean, you're professionals. This is our day off. He kept the laughs coming as the sheriff in The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, co-starring Dolly Parton. Although his film career slowed down by the late 80s, Reynolds found success on television in the 1990 series Evening Shade. It ran for four seasons and earned him an Emmy and a Golden Globe. While his TV career was on a high, his personal life unraveled. He ended his five-year marriage to actress Lonnie Anderson in 1993 and was involved in a messy custody battle over their adopted son, Quentin. By 1996, Reynolds filed for bankruptcy. Jack Horner, filmmaker. But things began to look up for the actor when he landed Paul Thomas Anderson's film, Boogie Nights. The role led to his first Oscar nomination. Though he didn't win, he received critical acclaim in the hockey film, Mystery Alaska, in 1999. I don't want to hear another word about a hockey game. Throughout the 2000s, he kept busy with a number of TV and film roles like the Dukes of Hazard. In a career that took him from the football field to becoming one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, the legendary actor will be remembered for decades of iconic roles in film and television. Still to many, Burt Reynolds will always be the bandit. <laughs> Michelle Turner, let me turn to you, uh, host of Entertainment Tonight. And you think of Burt Reynolds, the mustache, right? I mean, uh, I, I, I remember his role in, in Boogie Nights and handsome, handsome man. Yes, very much so. I mean, ruggedly handsome. I think um, when I remember back, I heard Stephanie talking about him being married to Lonnie Anderson in the late 80s and early 90s. They were kind of our Brad and Angelina at that time. <laughs> Just this stri seriously, that striking couple, Hollywood's A-list, uh, you know, the top of the heap, so beautiful. And we all looked at them and, and were kind of aspirational um, to what we thought relationship goals were, you know. And then they broke up, and subsequently he had some some failures but um you know think about this brooke back in uh, the 70s in the late 70s he was hollywood's top grossing star for four or five years running um and 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 he actually had at one point four movies playing at the same time in theaters that's, that's unheard of for an actor in these days yeah absolutely um you know we all remember uh, deliverance it, it was amazing and one of the best films ever made he says um, that it was the best film he was ever in. He, he wasn't sure he said it, it, if it was his best acting, but that was the best film that he believes he had ever been in. I was just reading a little bit um, more about him, and one of the things that, uh, that I thought was very interesting was not the movies that he did make, but the movies that he didn't make. Apparently, he turned down the role of Han Solo that went to Harrison Ford, so I'm sure Harrison oh, wow. was very grateful for that, and also he turned down uh, the role uh, in Die Hard that, that Bruce Willis uh, played as well. And, and so I, I'm just thinking about all of these opportunities that he had in Hollywood and, and all of the memories that he's made. But I think Stephanie said it best when she said, we'll all remember him as the bandit, won't we? She did say it best. And do we yeah. know, so he was, so he was 82. Do we know yes. any more about just what happened? 
Just the information we have is that he um, died in the hospital in Florida, that he went into cardiac arrest, um, and he was surrounded by his family, and he didn't recover. Um, we, the information is just now starting to come in, so we just have that, that, um, that brief information, but of course we're trying to get more um, gotcha. uh, at, you know, at, the, at this moment. But yeah, we're, we're, we're really just a, compiling, and it's hard to compile when you think about all that he's done and all the movies he's done and then transferring to television and uh, all that he's done in the years that he's been in in um, in Hollywood. But he's he's one of those actors, you know, as I'm now glancing down at everything, you know, we go all the way back to Deliverance, right? All yeah. the way through, and Stephanie made the point, you know, there was a quiet time for a bit, and then talk about uh, his career, you know, resurgence with Boogie Nights, um, on into, you know, the last the last decade or so. I mean, he had uh, he had staying power. Yes, absolutely. I think the first time that I really um, and, and and I'm going to that because I'm seeing it on the screen right now. He and Dolly Parton in the best little whorehouse in Texas. And I remember I was I was trying to sneak and watch it. I wasn't supposed to watch it, and when I watched it, I fell in love with him. Um, I, but I think a lot of people of a generation also remember some of the things that he did um, off of the screen, one of the, his cosmopolitan centerfold. I mean, that at that time was jaw dropping. It was, um, you know, a game changer in Hollywood, sold a million and a half copies. He says, um, that it was one of the biggest mistakes he ever made because he felt like that it cost deliverance the recognition that that movie deserved. So he looks back on that, even though we look at that as iconic, he looks back on that as a mistake of his. Of course, he did start out as an athlete. Um, we saw that in The Longest Yard, but he started out as a, a high school football player. He was a running back. He was supposed to go play football at Alabama. Um, and then he moved to Hollywood. And like when you look at him, you talked about his good looks. I mean, he had that mustache, but he had those deep brooding eyes. He was the quintessential leading man uh, in Hollywood in his day. Mm. Michelle Turner, thank you so much for, for calling in. We appreciate it. And at age 82, Burt Reynolds is gone.